Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Baloo bringing Pre-K to you. And I'm Veronica. How do you do? This week we're going to be talking about community helpers. What is a community helper? Do you know? I think a community helper is someone that helps you out. Awesome! So we know a helper is someone that helps us out, but what is a community? A community is a group of people living in the same place. So anyone in your town or in your city is your community. So a community helper is a person that helps out the people around you. So let's go walking to see which community helper we're going to learn about today. Will you walk with us? Awesome, let's go. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking around. We're walking, we're walking around the town. We're walking, we're walking up and down. We're walking, we're walking. Who have we found? I found a doctor and a nurse. Awesome, so we found a doctor and a nurse in our community. And a doctor and a nurse are community helpers. Where do we see doctors and nurses? Where? Let's see if we could ask one of our friends. Hi, Gilbert. Hello, everybody. Hi, Veronica. Hi. What would you like to know? Where can you find a doctor and a nurse? Where can you find a doctor and a nurse? Well, let me tell you. You could find doctors and nurses in many places. I've seen a doctor at a hospital. Have you? Yep. I've seen doctors and nurses in a clinic. I have. But did you know doctors and nurses can also go to people's homes? If they work in home health care or if someone is too ill to leave their house? That's pretty cool. I did not know that. So we could find doctors and nurses all around our community. Thank you for answering our question, Gilbert. Bye, Gilbert. Bye, Gilbert. So Gilbert said doctors and nurses can be found in many different places in our community. At the hospital? What else did he say? The clinic. The clinic and sometimes in people's yeah. homes. Awesome. What do they do, though? Do you know what doctors and nurses do? Let's ask Mary and see if she could help us out. Hi, everybody. Hi, Veronica. Hi. We got a question for you. What do, what do doctors and nurses do? Well, let me tell you. I'm so glad she asked that. Doctors and nurses do lots of cool things. You might as well call them superheroes. They help save the day. They can give you a checkup to see how tall you are. They can tell you why you're feeling sick. They can give you medicine to make you feel better. And they can also give you shots to help pre prevent other illnesses. I got a shot on my thigh. Wow! Doctors and nurses do lots of things. Thank you, Mary, for letting us know. Bye! You, Bye! Bye. So Mary told us what doctors and nurses do. They can help us feel better. They can give us checkups. How do they do that, though? How do doctors and nurses help us? Let's ask Marie. Hola, everybody! Hi. Hola. Do you have a question for me? How do doctors and nurses help us? Help us? Yeah, how do doctors and nurses help us, Marie? Do you know? Yes, I do know the question. So, they use tools. Tools? Yes. <laughs> tools. Like, like, like a wrench? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They use doctor tools. Doctors and nurses have their own tools. Do you want me to show you? Let me go get my doctor bag. Here's my doctor bag. Do you have a doctor bag at home? I do. Well, let me show you 
what's in my bag. I have this cool thing that I put in my ears. Do you know what it's called? A stethoscope. And this tool is used to listen to your heartbeat. I also have this. Do you know what this is? I could also put it in my ear. A thermometer to check your temperature. Another tool I have is this. This can give you medicine. Mm. Alrighty. So that is how doctors and nurses help us. They use their tools to check on us. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Marie. Bye. Wow, so doctors have their own tools. That is amazing. Miss, Miss Baloo, I feel ill. You feel ill? Veronica said she feels ill. And ill means she feels sick. Would you help me give Veronica a checkup? You will? Great! Let's see what's wrong with Veronica. The first thing we should do is check her temperature. So you could check a temperature with different, with thermometers to see how warm she is. This one goes in the mouth. This one you could just point. Or this one you rub across the forehead. Let's check her temperature, ready? Get your thermometer and we're gonna rub it across her forehead. One, two, three. 98. Well, she doesn't have a fever. Let's see. Hmm. Let's listen to her heartbeat. Put your stethoscope on, put it in your ears, and you put it on her heart. Her heart is saying, bum, 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 bum. Will you say it with us? Bum, 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 bum. Her heart sounds good too. I don't know why she feels ill. Maybe she needs a hug. Ooh. Did that make you feel better? She just needed a hug. Sometimes we need hugs to make us feel better too. Awesome. So we learned so much about doctors and nurses and how they help our community. So let's do our first activity. Let's get a piece of paper and some markers and we are going to make a pitcher. For our pitcher, we are going to draw a doctor and a nurse. There you go, Veronica. Thank you. To draw a doctor, you draw a face and some eyeballs and right now you will see most people wearing a mask to help them stay healthy so they don't get any uh, sicknesses so you can draw a mask on your doctor if you would like And I'm going to draw a nurse as well. A nurse also has eyes and a body. And the nurses are probably wearing masks too. Now, we are going to do something very special. We are going to write the word thanks on the top of our paper. 
to tell the doctor and the doctors and the nurses that we're thankful for them. Will you help us write thanks? Ready? T H A N K S. And now you can do something very cool with your paper. You can hang your picture of your doctor and your nurse on your window so that the doctors and the nurses in your community could see that you're telling them thank you, thanks. Wouldn't that be cool to see all the doctors and nurses pass by and see your lovely picture in the window? All right, it's letter time. Letters, letters, and let's get a piece of paper out to get our letters. Today, our letters are going to be in our doctor bag. Let's see what letter we get today. Ready? Reach in and grab a letter. Which letter did we find? An I. Very nice job. An I. And the I says, eh, eh. So let's get our marker out and draw the letter I. Eh. To draw an I, you do a line down, which is a vertical line, and two horizontal lines. Eh, eh. Let's get another letter from our doctor bag. I wonder what letter we're going to get. What letter did we find? The letter L. L. And the L says? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Good job. Vertical line down, horizontal line over. I, ooh. I, ooh. Let's get one more letter from our doctor bag. Which letter did we find? Another L. Another L? Awesome. Vertical line down, horizontal line over. I think we've spelled a word. Let's sound it out together. Are you ready? E O O. Ew. Ew. Ill, like how Veronica said she felt ill. That means sick, right? So let's do our line, and we only need one column. And now what I want you to do for your homework is to go around your house and find as many I's as you can, and find as many L's as you can. So let's see where an I would be. Do we see an I? Oh, I found an I in the word community. So I'm going to make a mark. Do hmm. we see any L's? I found two L's in blue. One, two. So I'm going to make two marks. Now we're going to take this piece of paper around our house and find more I's and more L's. So this will be your homework. There's one more thing that I want you to do for homework, okay? So you're going to take a piece of paper and for your homework, I want you to draw a picture of you at the doctor's office. So Veronica, what would you draw for your homework? I would draw me sitting on a chair in the waiting room and then they call me in. Okay, so she's going to draw a picture of them calling her in to the doctors. And while you're draw drawing this picture, I want you to think, how, you, how do you feel? Are you feeling scared? Are you feeling excited? Why are you there? Are you sick? Are you there for a checkup or a visit? What questions would you ask your doctor or your nurse? And how would you tell them thank you?
I hope you have fun doing your homework today. And that's all, guys. Don't forget Miss Baloo loves you. Don't forget to thank a doctor or a nurse. We'll see you. Bye.